A new tide of politics has swept South Korea after South Korea's liberal politics came to an end. Conservative opposition leader Yoon suk yeol edged out the incumbent in the country's presidential election. Our next report brings you all the details. South Korea has a new president. Conservative opposition candidate Yoon suk yeol was elected in one of the most closely fought races in recent history, which will shape Asia's fourth largest economy for the next five years. Yoon, who is 60, edged out the ruling Democratic Party's Lee Jae-myung by a fraction. A formal announcement is expected to be made on Thursday. The People Power Party candidate said he would work with opposition parties to heal polarized politics and foster national unity, calling the election a, quote, victory of the great people. Yoon's five-year term will begin this month to replace incumbent President Moon Jae-in, who is constitutionally barred from seeking re-election. The White House congratulated Yoon, saying President Joe Biden looked forward to working closely with him to bolster the alliance. Despite being a political novice, Yoon shot to fame after spearheading high-profile investigations into corruption scandals engulfing Moon's aides. We have to stop the corrupt and incompetent ruling force's attempt to extend their term and plunder people. He has pledged to stamp out graft, foster justice, and create a more level playing field while seeking a reset with China and a tougher stance towards reclusive North Korea. More than 77 percent of South Korea's 44 million eligible voters cast ballots to pick their next leader, despite an unprecedented surge in new COVID-19 cases, with a record 342,446 posted on Wednesday. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.